Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. And wow, things just picked up. Things are heating up between Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. A little history between those two camps. Those two guys are brothers, man. They're brothers. They started in the amateur ranks and the amateur circuits around the same time. They traveled together to various tournaments together. You know, I I believe if I'm if I'm not mistaken, whenever Dev would come out to the East Coast and he'll stay out here, he had a place to stay with Shakur Stevenson and vice versa. If Shakur was traveling out west, he had a place to stay with the Haney's. Uh, and you know, Bill would take him, his son, and Shakur to to tournaments together. So they have a family type bond and relationship. So to me, what just transpired between the Haney camp and the Stevenson camp is some people are saying, oh, that's just a publicity stunt by the both of them. They just talk. No, I think it's a clear misunderstanding. And the misunderstanding that happened between these two camps is this. After Shakur Stevenson's last fight against uh, Brazilian boxer Robson Conceição, I believe it was Bernardo Osuna who was doing the post-fight interview, and he asked Shakur Stevenson, what do you want next? And he said, there's only one guy with all the belts. And that was some funny style stuff there too. He didn't even want to say Devin Haney's name. Like, that's how much of a hater he is, but anyway. He didn't even want to say his name. He was like, there's only one guy with all the belts. What do you want to do? So Shakur Stevenson says what any boxer is supposed to say. He goes on and says, yes, Devin Haney's the top guy. He has all the belts. And if it's time to go get the belts, then we got to go do what we got to do. We got to get the belts. So then they wanted like an official call out. Like, oh, Devin Haney's next. The words next never came out of Shakur's mouth. Shakur simply said, I got to, if, if he has the belts and we got to go for the belts, then we got to do what we got to do. We got to go after him. Real simple. Now, Bill Haney came out and recently said that what Shakur said was a publicity stunt. And I think... I think Bill Haney, in his exchange with Shakur Stevenson that they had over the phone that was just released with the two sides are arguing, Bill Haney, even himself, he said maybe he could have chose different words, right? Maybe he, he could have chose a different word or phrase it differently instead of saying publicity stuff. And that's why I say, to me, this is a clear misunderstanding because what Bill Haney is saying is that Shakur called him after the fight after the Concecio fight after he said what he said in the ring and in the post fight conference and he cleared the air with Bill Haney and said and this is according to Bill Haney that Shakur called him and was like yo what I said in the ring wasn't directed towards y'all it wasn't like a call out I'm not trying to say I want y'all next I just I just said that because that's pretty much the position they put me in. So I said I'll take on Devin Haney if I have to. But he said that's not where I'm at right now. I'm moving up to 135 right now. That's not where where I'm trying to take my career right now. I'm not trying to go straight after Dev. I'm you know I'm getting into 135. I'll fight whoever I have to fight at this point. point. And it's well understood that Devin Haney is only sticking around at 135 for one more fight. And that's the Lomachenko fight. So Devin Haney is going to drop those belts when he moves up. That's why Shakur Stevenson phrased it that way. We got to go after the belts. We have to go after the belts. Because he, know, he knows him and Devin Haney, they're family, practically. They grew up in the circus together. And... In those amateur circuits and even playing out here in the professional ranks, 
they both have an understanding that Dev is a little bigger, so he fights at a bigger weight class, and every time one moves up in weight, the other moves up in weight. They're, they're never really at the same weight class. So Shakur's not thinking about Devin. Devin's not thinking about Shakur because they're both always moving up to another weight class because they're growing at the same time and they're growing into new weight classes together around the same time. Now, they both know, both camps know, and they have even made this uh, documented that they say, yes, we will eventually meet up. And to me, I feel like they'll meet up at 147. I think at 147, both of them will max out as far as growing is concerned. And that will be, I think, where their career um, will we'll stay at at 147 as far as like moving up in weight. I think that's the max that they'll hit. And I think both men at 47 will meet there. I think that's where they're going to meet. So we're talking about years from now when both of them grow some more and they, they get to that point where they're no longer growing like that and they're more comfortable at that one weight. I think that's where the fight happens at 47. So they already established that they're going to meet up in the future, but that's not the plans now. So Bill Haney, perhaps, as he said, he probably could have phrased it differently. But Bill said, yes, if you get in the ring with Dev, Dev is going to beat you. Shakur saying, I'm not running from nobody. Yes, I, I, I'm not trying to, you know, I didn't jump in. To 135 to go straight at the dev but if you're trying to say i'm not gonna fight him then i will fight him so now things picked up to where bill haney was like all right so if you want to fight that bad go tell top rank to move lomachenko out the way and you could get the fight so you know both of them was kind of calling each other's bluffs like oh yeah all right but at the end of the day these two camps, they grew up together. They came up in the amateur circuits together. And there's a tremendous amount of respect and love for both for, for each other on both ends. So I don't see this being something major. I don't see this being a fallout. I don't even see this meaning an immediate match. I think Stevenson and Devin Haney, they'll fight anybody. They're the two best fighters in the sport to me today. Well, two best up and coming fighters. Because the two best, it's still Crawford and Spence time. But they're the two coming up. They're gonna take the throne after. And yes, they will have their Crawford and Spence type fight, but in the future. So I don't really think there's much. I think it was just more of a misunderstanding. And we will see these two fight, but they're not going to fight anytime soon. They'll fight at 147. And they both have a lot of great fights that they're going to make. A lot of history they're going to continue to make. And then they will meet in a super fight at 147 pounds within the next few years or so. So that's my take on it. We'll see what develops from this story. You know... What do y'all think, man? Do you think if these two fighters were to get it on, who do you think wins? Do you think Devin Haney beats Shakur? Do you think Shakur beats Devin Haney? I would like to hear what my people think about that. You know, drop a comment, hit the like, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.